Hello students, let's learn today how to draw the rules for refraction. Refraction as we know that it is the bending of light when the light travels from one transparent medium into another transparent medium. Now let us draw rule number one. The rule number one says that if we have two different transparent medium, medium number one is optically optically rarer medium and medium number two is optically denser medium then this is the normal normal is the imaginary line which is perpendicular to the surface so this is normal the light the la, ray of light which falls into medium number one is called the incident ray if there is no change in the optical density of the two medium it will go straight so let us draw the straight line with the help of dotted lines this shows the actual path of the incident ray if there is no refraction or no bending so this ray is the incident ray the angle between the incident ray and the normal this angle between normal and incident ray is called angle of incident so angle i is the angle of incidence now rule number one says that when the ray of light it is traveling or it is passing from optically rarer medium to optically denser medium it will not go straight it will undergo refraction it will bend towards normal that means it will not go straight like this it will bend towards normal like this that means it will move closer to the normal so let's draw this ray this ray is called the refracted ray and the angle between the refracted ray and the normal this angle it is called represented by small r and is known as angle of refraction so rule number one says that an incident ray passing from optically rarer medium to optically denser medium will bend towards normal so this refracted ray has bent towards normal and therefore angle i as you can see in the picture also it is greater or more than angle r now let's talk about rule number two rule number two says again we will take the two mediums now this time earlier we have taken rarer to denser now we will be taking optically denser medium is the medium number one and the second medium in which the light is entering it is optically rarer medium again we will draw the normal first normal is a perpendicular shown with the help of dotted line to the surface the ray which falls into the medium number one it is called the incident ray don't forget to put the arrows otherwise marks can be deducted this is the normal this you know that it is the incident ray the angle between the incident ray and the normal this angle it is called angle of incidence and we have to show the straight path 
if there has been no refraction this incident ray would have traveled straight so we will show it with the help of dotted lines but now we know that it will undergo refraction because it is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium so when light ray will enter from optically denser medium to optically rarer medium it will bend it will not go straight it will bend away from normal like this that means it will move away from normal the distance of the ray will increase from the normal so this ray again we will put the arrow this is called the refracted ray and it has bent away from the normal so rule number two says that whenever the incident ray it is entering from denser to rarer medium it will not go straight it will undergo refraction and it will bend away from normal the angle between the refracted ray and the normal this angle is represented by small r and is known as angle of refraction over here we can observe that the angle i is smaller so angle i it is smaller than angle r so this is sec rule number two that incident ray will move away from normal when it travels from optically denser medium to optically rarer medium to remember this you have to take this you have to learn it with a trick remember this draw draw will make you remember the rule number two d stands for denser r stands for rarer medium so whenever the light ray is traveling from denser to rarer medium it will move a w means away from normal now we have a special case we will consider it as rule number three rule number three is not a rule actually it's a special case why we consider it as a special case if we have two different optical density mediums irrespective whether it is traveling from denser to rarer medium or from rarer to a denser medium irrespective of that if the incident ray this is the normal that is perpendicular to the surface if the incident ray falls on this normal like this then this is a special case then there will be no refraction there will be no bending of light it will go straight so over here this is the incident ray which is falling on the special case why it is a special case because incident ray it falls on the normal that means what is angle i angle i is equal to 0 degree because angle i is the angle between the normal and the incident ray since normal is also here incident ray is also here on the same line so the angle between them is 0 degree many students they tend to confuse it with 90 degree but it is 0 degree because it is the angle between normal and the incident ray so when angle i is equal to 0 degree or incident ray falls on the normal then there will be no bending of light so this is a special case when there will be no refraction of light or no bending of light when the angle of incidence is zero degree i hope that you have learned how to draw these three rules out of which rule number one and two were important and we will be taking up the next ray diagrams in the next video thank you for watching students